Good afternoon. So yeah, this is Labante Beach in Benidorm. Let's investigate. Plenty of bars, restaurants, eateries. Everyone enjoying the drinks in the summer, in the winter sun, not summer sun. Speed mode. Speed mode activated, get past this uh, music. So yeah, it's all very buzzling around here compared to the old town. So you see there's music everywhere getting played. And look how busy it is just down that street there alone. It's absolutely heaving. All these bars are full. Proper, proper busy. Levante Beach looks nice though. Do a lot of Benidorm scenes here on that TV service Benidorm. Ah, you got bear kicking. I'm gonna pop in for a cheeky bear kicking coke, I reckon. <laughs> Do with a refreshment. Because I've done a lot, a lot of walking today, trust me. I wasn't planning on doing this um, Levante beach tour today, but I thought, why not? But yeah, going to grab a Coke. See you soon. That burger now is ridiculous. It took about 20 minutes just to get the burger and a Coke. No organisation whatsoever. Anyway, I've got a cheeseburger to keep me going on the road. Are you a gherkin person or not? I'm not, but I can't afford to pass in the bar, so I'll just get on with it and eat it. A much needed refreshment and a large Coke, extra large Coke. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. I'm going to put this video up when I'm back on the road on Levante Beach. Ah, Burger King was much needed. Now I'm back revitalised. I've done like 20,000 steps so far today. And now I've got to walk all the way up there. And then back again. It's my hotels around this area, which is central, but up that hill. She drank a massive coke in about five minutes. You got to admit, nothing's better than like a uh, McDonald's coke or Burger King coke when you're thirsty. It's one of the best sort of thirsty cures possible. A lot of music around here. Better not be interfering my video. <laughs> 
to like loads of different shops and bars and everything you need. That switch off then, but it's gone that way. Another music dilemma. Put the sunglasses on then and I'm hanging down there. That's all right, isn't it? Buckets. Drink buckets, so like 12 bottles of salt. I haven't got a price on it now. You could have one hell of a pub crawl, couldn't you, around here? Just sort of like start in one, one pub and walk all the way up there. There's no way you'd be able to walk by the time you finished it, so there's no way I'm even going to attempt that. Go, oh, anyone ask. Sun's gone back in a little bit, hasn't it? It's been a bit hazy day all day. Fox down there as well. And cut chips. All different methods of advertising places do to get customers. Uh, another, another guy full of music. Speed mode activated. Are we past it? Are we still at it? No. Nice hotel, four star inside hotel. Let's go on the beach for a bit. sand again isn't it nice and clean sand like what you like to see on beaches beaches that are well looked after i can guarantee at night time the tractors will come on this beach and make it all absolutely well you can tell you can actually see the trails on the beach the sand it's well cared for in fact i'm going to come back this evening and do a little video on what the beach looks like at the evening times that'll be interesting that Yeah, you can see the uh, tire marks that it does get well looked after. I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of the best beaches. Out of all the places I've gone to, this is probably one of the most looked after beaches I've seen. And I bet if you came first thing in the morning, this would look like a, a freshly cleaned carpet. Carpets of sand. Anyway, stop mumbling on, Eddie, and let's get back to the task in hand. Getting up to there. Hotel Kimbell. Kimbell. Uh, this battery's not actually got too much battery left, so I'm going to have to not do as much continuous filming. That looks a nice hotel as well. If you look there, above where it says Hotel Kimbell, there's like a little pool. 
I bet they're private pools. They are their rooms and they're private pools. So they've got private pools attached to the room. Some people just want it all, don't they? To be fair, so do I. Another thing to point out is uh, Benedon. Very accessible for people with disabilities because it's all flat ground. Well, saying that, I've been hell of a lot walking up and down. But you don't have to do that if you don't want because the beaches are flat. So that results is you get a lot of mobility scooters. There's no end of mobility scooters nearly hitting into you. But pavement's nice and big anyway. Typical example. Again, same as the old style beach, you get the um, sporting activities on the sand. Humanity Valenciana. Speed mode activated. At least this uh, Levante beach don't go on as long as the beach in the old town. That went on for ages. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch that video. It was a long, long walk. Yeah, it could be a nice peaceful walk actually, walking along this strip. Like I said, it would be interesting to see the night time, so we'll do that. But all these, a lot of these bars, I bet they all come to at night time, nice little places to chill out and have a drink, watching out to the ocean. <laughs> amazes me how many people are wearing coats I mean it's like I'm, I've got this on but I have to wear it in fact I'll take it off actually because it's definitely not coat weather that's better Wait a minute, two bars left. That looks a decent little establishment. Cayman Beach. It's alright, doesn't it? Looks like a lot of people enjoy it in there. And then there's another one here next to it. This one's called uh, Beach Benedon something. I've got to keep speaking louder now because of the uh, music. But yeah, that looks all right. I've done it nice and lively for the people that like lively bars. Not bad. Lots of uh, table service and things. 
I was just mumbling on a bit then because I didn't want the uh, I wanted to speak over the music and uh, yeah speed mode activated That's better. Do you, you get the idea? You got a mixture of like uh, relaxing bars, and then you got the busy bars for you party goers, and then you've got the main strip as well, which we'll have a look at at some point. It won't be on this video, I don't think. Copper Cabana. That looks a decent little bar, doesn't it? Copa Cabana. you've got King Coco that looks a decent one looks a nice establishment <laughs> and another one I can't say back up there if you had it pub core field day around here you'd be steaming I mean when I did the bar pub call in Greece that time that was a lot but there's nothing compared to this if you haven't watched it go back and watch it it's called pub call Greece I'm back. Two bottles, four seventy. One bucket, ten ninety, of Aquila. I'm guessing Aquila's a lager. I'm guessing I might be wrong. The lazy cow. You lazy cow. Uh, that's the name of the bar. See that there's sort of places that I would uh, sit in. Look decent places. <laughs> Ale hop, keep running in some places. Remember when I was in Tenerife earlier in the year, I thought Ale Hop was a place that served ale. <laughs> and I finally came to realise it's a shop. Look at that view. Come up. And we've almost made it to the end. Another goal accomplished. So this is Levante Beach, Benidorm. And then they got Bikini Beach Bar. It's about to go in there then, but then I looked and there's no girls in bikinis, so I thought, ah, it's full of old people. Mm. 
misleading name isn't it bikini beach bar you think it'll be full of it now you got a Mackey's and another Burger King nice Christmas treat It's a British bar there called Stag, Stag and Pheasant. Another one there just called Stella Twice. Looks alright, doesn't it? Must be popular. And now we are talking. I hope this camera does it justice. But if you ever wanted a view of Benidorm, this is the one. Take a moment to take it in. Let's get to the very end of this path. So yeah, we did it. We covered Levante Beach. Signing out. Let's start again. This jacket. Signing out, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, please hit the subscribe button.